It's water change day. And it's cold and it's snowing. Um, yeah, yesterday I worked on the tank, the 220. I was just getting hella frustrated trying to get off the trim and all the silicone. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna try a different method. Yeah. Yeah, so I got some fish to move around. I figured I'd uh, show you guys. Um, the parrotfish, the big yellow guy, he's um, he's all healed up. So I'm gonna throw him in the main tank, and then I'm gonna use that tent breeder to heal up somebody else. The Severum, exactly, because he still got that red spot on him. So yeah, um, let's see if I could do this with one hand. Just did a water change from this tank. So everyone's, you could tell they, they're a lot more happy and active. And this guy, his yellow, his color definitely changes. His black becomes a lot more black. Um, somebody's nipping in here, which I don't like. I believe it's probably the datnoid. It's my baby parrot and somebody nipping on you man I don't like that I don't like that um cool so let's see if we can grab this guy he's all healed up yeah nice right, let's take you out you've been in here for about a week so let's see if we can grab you Plop him right in. Okay. Hopefully I don't drop you. Let's see what we got. Um, should I scoop him? Let's hand. No, no, don't bite me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. All right, fuck it. Um, let's see. Can I grab you? Nah. <laughs> All right, we're grabbing the net. <laughs> Grab the net. Yeah, it's nice and dry. So, let's scoop them up. Easy, relax. All right, got it. He's huge. Right in. Right, I don't want to stress him out too much, so I'm gonna turn turn off the camera. So some plans for today. I'm gonna go to Home Depot and pick up uh, some pothos. Hopefully I could, uh, I want to put it into the sump that way, um, you know, to help with the nitrates and all that. Because this is overstocked and I'm going to start doing uh, twice, twice a week water changes because I'm not liking, I can, I, I, I can usually tell just by how they act, um, whether they need, if the nitrates are high or not. I usually don't, oh look, they're fighting kind of. Oh, they're a little sparring. Can't, the lighting is bad, but yeah, this guy was the boss until I had to take him out. And then this little yellow one, he grew some balls. Yeah, he's gonna be fine. He's like, yep, the boss is back. The boss is healed up, and everybody get out the way. Sorry about the lighting. Here, let's throw this light on. Screw it. I don't like turning on the lights because I feel like it stresses them out. Look, everyone just goes crazy. But at least you can get a little better view of them. 
see that's the bonus. Now he's just pushing everyone out his way. That's what's up. But yeah, I think he got that infection because um obviously probably because it's so so stocked. The bio load is too much. So I definitely want to get some uh some pathos to help with that. Maybe some more lava rock. Um I'm gonna move this this avocado. I'm gonna move him out of the sump. So I'm gonna take him, put him in the 40, in this top 40. Then I, I, you can see right there, this Severum has a little spot by his tail. I'm gonna take him, put him in the 10, and uh, heal him up in there. Put some uh, erythromycin, um, I guess I'll throw in some general care too. I doubt he has any parasites, but just to be safe. He is still a new, pretty new fish, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Take out all the water from the 10 gallon. Probably put half of this water and half fresh water. And then, yeah, throw the meds in there. Maybe some salt. And then the avocado can go in here. I'm kind of scared that the avocado is gonna chew up this garami. Maybe I'm gonna have to take him out. Cool little pair. Yeah, so I just wanted to say, man, it's War Change Wednesday, and yesterday I wasn't feeling so well, so I was like, I'm just not gonna do nothing. And usually, uh, usually I feed them, I'll take, you know, I won't feed them like one day out of the week, but usually that's by. That's not on purpose. That just it just happens because I'm just I need to take a day off from the fish room. If you know if you have a lot of tanks, you know that it's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. One thing I love I love about this hobby I love keeping fish, but I hate maintenance. Maintenance sucks. Yeah, maintenance is not fun. Yeah. So what I was saying is I hate <laughs> I hate maintaining. I hate the work, but you gotta say, man, it's so rewarding to just to see the fish, man, and just have them healthy and and just flow in their little ecosystem and their environment, man. Just they're just so just amazing fish, man. And it's it's all worth it, man. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And it's, you know, stress too, you know, when your fish dies or something gets sick, it's like, that's life, you know, you don't, you don't want nothing to happen to your fish, <laughs> for me at least. I know it sounds kind of dumb, but one of my pet peeves in this hobby, I hate getting wet, man. <laughs> I just, I, I know it sounds crazy that I like fish, but I hate getting wet. I hate especially my toes like if water gets in between my toes when I'm you know when I'm wearing slippers or even in my shoes it gets in my sock it's like ah oh. and then if you have to reach into a tank get your whole sleeve wet and then you drip everywhere like that's that's not that just bugs the crap out of me so yeah right now I got this thing filling back up so usually I do the two big tanks and then I'll I'll take down the smaller ones. Oh and one thing about this right here, I know it looks crazy, but this stand and this tank is actually that this is my air little arowana little setup that I put up real quick. This originally is supposed to be the stand originally I built it for my 75 and then I found a 110 online the 110 gallon tall and then I figured oh it fits perfectly the dimensions it's the same same exact width width and uh, 
depth of this except it's it's of the 75 except it's taller so this was my 75 I brought it down here to use as a sump and what, what I wanted to do was put the 110 up here and then I got this 60 gallon 65 gallon tall from uh, AC Fisher my boy shout out to him he hooked me up with this tank I picked it up from him yeah showed me his whole setups it's pretty sick he's got he's got those uh stingrays and those um, crazy ass tiger eels he actually gave me he actually sold me the tiger eel so shout out to him for that the little baby one I have and uh, yeah so I know it looks weird but the this because it's brown but the whole f the, f the front face I removed the 60 gallon fits perfectly under there 65 gallon fits perfectly under there so I was gonna use it as a sump for the 110 that I had outside I went ahead and drilled a couple holes for the for the over for the overflow back that is supposed to go back down to the 60 but plans changed because I I found the 220 but they're doing good I found the 220 or the 240 or 250 or whatever it is now I just got to get that thing that tank up and uh, our stands are already built now I just got to get the tank ready um, it's a lot of work man I gotta I gotta um, I want to fix up the silicone I want to reseal it so that's just gonna take more time but you know in this hobby you do what you gotta do you gotta keep keep pushing forward you know see I'm sweaty as hell already <laughs> all right cool um now I'm gonna go while this I'm gonna let this finish filling up and then I'm gonna go quarantine the the seven See y'all when I get there. Peace. Oh shit. I gotta close it. Oh, oops. Oops. I make mistakes, alright? I was wondering why I was making that noise. Hopefully I didn't mess up the pump. Yeah, he's doing good. Doing just fine. This Garami actually had, um, yeah, you can see he's getting a little, little, little nip. I think that's the Datnoid though. But he had, um, he actually had, uh, what is it, Finrock. Yeah, he had Finrock, and uh, he healed right up with just salt, all salt. Again, I think it was because of the bacteria issue. That's why now that all these fish are back together, I want to um, definitely help with the bio load and do more water changes. That's why I want to go grab some pothos, throw them in, into the sump, help them with the nitrates. But yeah, if you look closely, his fins, they're healing up. They get a little black around the area they're stressed. I'm stressing them out, so I'm gonna chill out a little bit. Oh, here, here he comes. Boom. If you see it's a little black, that's where his tails were were eaten off. Hopefully, yeah, it's, go it's growing back red. So that's what, one thing I was worried about, which is great. That's just the process of him healing. Yeah, I, I love this giant Garami. He, um, he's ugly as hell. Um, Someone bit his, I think it was one of those, the short body geos, bit his, um, he had really long streamers. Oh, okay, everyone's, hell yeah. But it's growing back. Now it's time to, uh, yeah, let's get this quarantine system going for the seven. And then plug it in and then just sit here and watch it wait for it to fill up I'll just wait here by the sink and then when I see that it's filled oh look at the ray 
when I see that it's filled, I'll shut it off. Everyone looks way happier, way more active after the water change. So I think I'm gonna double down on water changes and I'm gonna get the sump better. I wanna add some filter floss to it also just to get all the little micro oh wait don't get distracted brandon i always get distracted when doing water changes and then well it's it's only happened to me once where the water has flowed over <laughs> that was not fun but i caught it as soon as i heard the splashing so Not too crazy of a of a, of a disaster. <laughs> and now, yeah, that's to the top. That's to the brim. Boom. So I already added the stress coat and the salt. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let's go grab the fish, stick them in there. So let's go grab this guy. He's in the back right now, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to move him over. Let's go ahead and cook some out. Uh, he's so chill. I could probably grab this guy with my hands. Yeah, let's just cook some over here. Nope, stay over here, guy. You think you can do the hands? Let's go grab you by the hands. Yeah, yeah. Take it easy. You see, that's a spot right there. That, uh, he's a very chill dude. He's a very chill fish. Easy, easy. Come on. Shh. All right, maybe that's a bad idea. Let's grab the net. Time to heal up, my dude. He's gonna go in the 220 also. This stuff right here is pretty, pretty expensive, but it's an investment and it's good to have on hand. It really is. I mean, when you get sick fish, your fish gets sick or you know, you buy a fish and you run out of this crap, it's like, it's so annoying. So it's good to just have it. So one of these scoops is good for 20 gallons. I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna eyeball it and try to put half. So, and this is for bacteria, which I'm pretty sure that's a bacterial disease that, that he has on his, on his fin. So yeah, about, about, about that much. Right into the tank. Heal up, buddy. This stuff smells weird, so. I would suggest using, I used to wear a mask when I put this stuff in because I don't want to inhale it. It like dusts up and all that crap. So, yeah, just to be sure, we'll treat them for parasites too. About half. That's a little more than half. Boom. Oh yeah, that red spot on his back tail, that's what we're trying to heal up. 
Um, next thing I want to do, I want to go grab this avocado puffer and put them back in the 40. Um, that way, here, let me just show you guys. That way, I'll have space for the pothos. I'm going to throw a basket on here with some pothos, figure out a lighting situation for them. That way I can get some better um, nitrate removal on this tank because it is heavily stocked at the moment. So let's go grab the net. I disinfected it with hot water. Boom. Set that down right there. Scoop up some water. find him. Where are you at, buddy? There he is. Sorry I keep moving you, bro, but you're incompatible with so many fish. Come on, come up. He usually chose at the top, but he sees me now, so he's at the bottom. There you go. He came up. Now we're going to scoop him. There he is. mess around too much and he goes now I don't want to stress him out so he's not gonna be in here too long let's go bring him right straight over all right there he goes walking or walking Sick, dude. Man, he is he's a beauty. I love him. I love brown fish. Alright. He's puffed off by me once and it scared me, but luckily it, it went away. Always don't transport your your puffer running with the net. Don't ever do that because then that gives them a chance to puff up. So oh, if you're transporting them, always transport them in a in a container. So let's scoop this guy out. Come on, get in the net. Get in the net. Get in the net, buddy. If I had two hands, I would just pour him out. But come on, come on. There he goes. All right, straight up. Don't puff up. Don't puff up. There you go. There he goes. See, while I'm down here, I should scoop up this poop. He's been in this tank before, so he's... He's used to it. He's back there, hiding. Alright, uh, that should be good. we go scoop up some poop over this side. That's where it tends to, to hang out. All that poop. Sorry about the lighting again, guys. There he is. Yeah, he's happy. Uh-oh, don't mess with him, Garami. You're gonna get freaking wrecked, man. You're gonna get wrecked. Don't do it, Garami. Don't do it, Garami. Dude, don't do it, man. Oh my god. I was scared about. Bro, one bite and you're freaking dead. Yeah, he's the same size as you, but you don't know what them teeth do, bro. Oh shit, the water. Uh oh, there's actually some good stuff right here. Stop it. Maybe that did the trick. He's gonna have to learn. Hopefully that first bite doesn't kill him. Cause I don't wanna move him. See these garamis, they're ballsy, man. Oh. Did he back up? He's not backed up yet. 
Oh, Garami, chill out, man. You're gonna get fucking wrecked. Garami, you better chill, dude. One bite and it's game over. I think they do. I think they'll be alright. Damn, I wasn't expecting this. Oh. Puffer don't play, man. I'm telling you. Garami. Oh, man. I'm going to take him out. All right. I'm taking you out, boy. Before it's too late. No, he's not bleeding. But his mouth is wide open. Damn, I think he got hurt. I think he got hurt. Alright, he's gonna go on the 10 gallon with the shovel. Damn, I think his mouth just got chewed. You stupid, man. You freaking stupid. This one with the puffer. I gotta check on this guy. Alright, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Alright, he's going in. He's going in the tango. Hopefully he's all right. So yeah, it's been about 30 minutes and you can see everyone just settled in. He showed everyone he's the boss and now everybody doing good. Their colors are popping out better. And everyone looks a lot less stressed after the water change. Now I'm water changing the arrow tank, grow out tank, and the 29 in the wall separate. Oh yeah, he's so beautiful. God is on my side today. That would have been all over the ground, so thank you.